Whoa, it's like that bit in The Wizard of Oz, when everything suddenly comes into colour. Yeah, I'm using a tile set, and <laughs> it makes me acutely aware of just how many logs we have lying around the place. So yeah, this is what the place looks like with uh, tiles. There it is, I'm using Iron Hands. Um, yeah, I've done a couple of things while I was testing out the tile set. Uh, designated a roof for a few of these little shacks. Uh, somebody asked uh, what benefits there are for using blocks on the floor instead of logs, and uh, the answer is none. <laughs> I just, uh, I like using the blocks for the floors. Would you want a floor made out of logs? But yeah, look at the trees now. Trees everywhere. Uh, I started dis di 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 I've started digging a reservoir over here that's going to be a well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pump the water from that pool next to it into it because that cleans the water for some reason. All right, uh, let's press play and carry on. So uh, watch everybody scurry around. Uh, a gower. Uh, they were in a bed here, but I dismantled the bed to try and get them out of it. Because there's nothing wrong with them anymore. They have some scars, but uh, that's it, really. And, you know, you wouldn't... You wouldn't expect them to lie there unconscious just because they have a few scars on their body. I mean, nobody cares. Get out of the bed. Ah, uh, but yes, they are just perpetually lying in that bed forever. So, you know, that's that. What did, what did you lose, Guinan? You're losing things. Uh, but yeah, I'm really just waiting for the roofs to be built on these shacks. There they go, building them now. And once those are built, I'll build beds in them and uh, pull up the beds that are in here anyway. And move these stock... Uh, not stockpiles, these workshops to the other side of the room and put a floor on the other side of the room. There we go. There's a plan. Um, I'm very tempted as well to just build more carpenters workshops. I know I've already got four of them, but... <laughs> uh, and yeah, I am using the starter pack, by the way, but I'm not using any of the tools from it, really. Just using it to install the graphics. It's pretty much the first time I've ever used the starter pack, actually. But, um, yeah, I just couldn't be bothered hunting down the uh, graphics sets for the latest version, so... <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's why they call it the Lazy Noob Pack, I guess. Because it's for lazy people and noobs. Right, you guys get on with that. Right, they're just getting straight into that. Nice. We should have plenty of blocks at some point. And yeah, once this reservoir is dug out, which it probably is quite shortly... Yeah. Somebody's doing it a few tiles at a time. It's a bit irritating. Yeah, as soon as that reservoir's dug... As I was saying before I was interrupted by the autosave, as soon as that's dug out, I'm going to start digging a moat around the walls. And, uh, oh, well... On second thoughts, <laughs> I figured I would just, uh, you know, get sieged and be wiped out by goblins. Really? I don't even have anywhere close to enough citizens for a siege. Uh-oh. Right, uh, I have no military. <laughs> 19 citizens. Who's actually arrived? Uh, we got two goblin hammermen, a goblin pikeman, a goblin swordsman. Three Goblin Swordsmen. Oh shit. Right, um... This is trouble. This is big trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a think about this for a minute. And maybe set up some kind of ad hoc militia. Right, uh, I tried to take off mining and woodcutting from everybody who has those labors so that they would drop the axes and pickaxes so that I could add them to uh, uniforms, but they refuse. <laughs> like Picard here is just clinging on to this pickaxe. Uh, I let the game sort of advance a few steps by hitting the period key, but... He ain't dropping it, so he's just been drafted into a squad along with my other miner and a couple of woodcutters. Hopefully they have hold of axes that they can cl clobber the goblins with. And then I just uh, yeah assigned everybody else and set the civilian alert to make everybody hide down here in this burrow. Uh, 
this is not going to go well, I'm pretty sure. So let's, um, right, we want to make the schedule active, not that that makes a difference. And we want to go kill uh, the pikeman, I believe, is the leader of this particular siege. But, um, yeah, who else is here? I could hope that they get scared off by a barn owl, but I don't see it happening. Right, so, oh dear, I think more of them just arrived. That looks like a crossbow... Goblin. Oh, and we don't have any armor at all. What are they even doing here? This is nuts. But yeah, they should, um, they can quite easily just climb over this wall, but I'm not sure if they will. Uh, I know my dwarves will. They will climb over there to get to them. Or they'll come this way, I guess. <laughs> Uh, what is your, um, what weapon are you wielding? You're wielding no weapon, of course. But, um, yeah, he has a little... Alright, he's a novice Marks Dwarf, so he's got a Marks Dwarf thing. Grab them bolts and throw them at him. Oh, man, this is going to be painful. Yeah, hopefully they do a sensible thing and pick up the goblins' weapons if they ever manage to kill one. Oh, dear. Yeah, who's that? That's uh, Thin Riker. He's in trouble. Let's have a look at him. His right upper arm has been damaged. Uh, running with blood. Oh dear. What about this goblin? Is there a scratch on them? Nope. Yeah. At least they have a silver short sword. Or silver long sword, sorry. I didn't think goblins use long swords. Ooh, there's um, Thin Riker's dead. Did somebody just enter a martial trance, or are they terrified? I'm pretty sure they're terrified. Overcome by terror. Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry. I... Normally, I would curse them for being such wusses, but... I did send them in unarmed to kill a bunch of goblins that are armed to the teeth, and... I'm pretty sure... That, uh... Yeah, Picard is dead, Miles is dead, Data is dead. Oh, this is going to end in a reclaim, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, they are, um... Oh, shit. Okay. Geordi has assumed the position of the expedition leader. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Probably going to die quite soon. Anyway, one of these goblins is enraged by something. Enraged at all enemies. Oh, he did actually get a little cut on his hand. I wonder who managed that. I have absolutely no idea, but, um... Oh, Deanna Troy entered a martial trance, apparently. Uh, yeah, she was just pushing them around. Like, literally just pushing them. Yeah, I, I think they probably broke their spine or something at some point. And pushing was just about all they could do. Are they leaving? No. Oh no, there's another dwarf over here. Who is that? That's Deanna. Oh, right. Uh, what exactly is wrong with you? Everything is cut open and bruised. But, yeah, she's just been wailing on these guys over here. Did you actually pick up a weapon? Is that what happened? Because... Well, you've just been pummeling them with your bare hands, but you've actually managed to incapacitate two of them. You are, of course, about to get pummeled by the rest of the squad, so... You know... Shit. Okay, is that the entire squad? No, uh, we've got Yar and Pulaski left. I'm not entirely certain where they are. Oh, one of them was there, but now they are not. <laughs> oh god, who's that? That's Pulaski. Miserable, lost a friend to tragedy. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been satisfied at work lately, though. <laughs> oh dear. Um, where the hell did you go? You've disappeared on me. Oh, there you are. Uh, what's wrong with you now? In a martial trance. Go, Pulaski! Seriously. Pummel them. I know you can do it. Uh, you're doing pretty well, but no, now you're dead. Oh, dear. And the goblins are just hopping over the wall. I, I knew they would do that, like... Yeah, I was going to get a moat done. I didn't expect a siege when I only had... Uh, oh shit, I can lock these doors, can't I? 
I'm pretty sure I can. I don't know if goblins can knock down doors, but... Right, yeah. See, they can't get in there now. But we are still under siege. And unless I get a migrant wave of fully equipped soldiers, I don't really see how I would survive this kind of situation. What are they after now? Whoa! They are after lions, are they? Oh, they're dingoes, okay. They look like mountain lions. Pretty similar, I suppose, except one's a dog and one isn't. What are they doing? Yeah, they're just kind of trolling the map now, just looking for stuff to kill, I guess. Uh, dingoes. Yeah, I still got a couple of dingoes. Did we manage to kill one goblin? Um, no. <laughs> Uh, you know, you just gotta think completely differently in this version about how you do defenses. Because everything about the last version has just gone out the window. Like, you need a military from day one, as far as I can tell. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, these guys are just gonna sort of generally mill around, I guess. Because I don't really see any other way this is gonna go really. The next migrant wave to arrive, like I said, unless they're fully equipped soldiers, are just gonna get mauled. And the people stuck down in that basement there are gonna die of thirst. They won't starve to death. <laughs> you can see them over here actually. Why are they all dropping their clothes? Alpaca wool hood? Oh, dropping their caps. <laughs> Maybe they're celebrating. Maybe somebody died that they didn't like. And so they just started throwing their clothes up in the air, like in, in the end of uh, films where people graduate and they throw their caps in the air. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Maybe they're just so terrified. Can they actually see the goblins over there? Like, there's people here blinking with multiple arrows. Uh, running around babbling. Oh, I didn't notice Ro Laren had gone insane. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's some cancellation spam there. Yeah, Ro Laren has gone stark raving mad. She's just running around calling everybody cocksuckers, probably. Um, Barkley shoot martyrs. Sleep. <laughs> He's just asleep on the floor. He can't take it anymore. Yep, sleep, no job, no job, sleep. They're all like trying to path up the stairs and going, Duh, I can't get up there. Yeah, so I mean, if they tend to these farms, they've got plenty of food down there, because that's where all the seeds are as well. Um, I could probably dig down to the caverns for water, I guess, but... Yeah, I, I don't really see a way back from this, except for to try and reclaim. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, what have they found? Where is it? There you are. Let's follow you. Where are you going? You are coming over here. Yeah, they're just kind of struggling to find a way in. I'm just kind of hoping that they leave at some point. So, I don't know. I'm just going to watch them for a while, see what happens. Are they leaving? Are they getting towards the edge of the map? Mm, no. Oh, what was that? Well, Guinan has given birth to a girl. Um, well done for giving birth at exactly the perfect moment. Oh dear. Yeah, so, I don't know. They're not leaving, but is there less of them? No, there's still ten of them. I don't see ten of them over there, so I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah, so is that two squads of them, then? Because I thought I was targeting the leader before, but... Um Cancel sleep, forbidden area. Just sleep where you are. It's fine. But yeah, these guys are... Let's have a look at them. Uh, thirsty, drowsy, dehydrated and drowsy. I mean, basically, they're going to die of thirst. Uh, and I don't... I can't guarantee that there's actually... a pickaxe down here, honestly. Because I sent both of my miners... Hope to fight the goblins. <laughs> so, uh, there's probably no workshop materials either. So, if I wanted to build like a, a brewer's a still down here, yeah, yeah, that's a dismant um, dismantle one of the farms. I think if I had to do this. 
But, uh, I don't know. Do I want to crawl my way back from this, or do I want to send them all into a crazy charge and then try and reclaim the place? I think I want to send everybody into a crazy charge, honestly. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, right. Where the hell have they gone? Uh, goblins? Goblin hammer man, where are you guys? Right. Squad, everybody who's left alive, kill that person. Uh, let's watch them. Yeah, unfortunately... Oh, I've locked the doors. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Agawa's just gonna sit in the bed for all eternity. Come on. I've unlocked them, haven't I? Get going. Go kill. Smash. Smashy kill. Um, okay, maybe I need to tell them to do it again. Because they're not interested. Kill this person. Oh, oh they've all just passed out. <laughs> they're all just like, oh, we can access the beds now. Well, I'll be going to sleep then. Oh, somebody's going for it. Go on, son. Who is that? Who is the brave person? It is the ship's computer. <laughs> and they're dead. And everybody else is dead. Yep. Oh, one of the goblins is unconscious. Oh, you got absolutely pummeled. Who did you get pummeled by? Osnon... Uh, us... something. Eh, uh, let's have a look at you. Yeah, it's this guy. The recruits! Uh, of course, right. Yeah. We need to give people profession names. Oh, yeah, yeah. Agawa's the only one left. And they're about to get killed in their sleep. It's your fault. It is all your fault. They were the militia commander, and they uh, they fell asleep on the job. Because they had a few scars, boo-hoo. Now, what are you doing? <laughs> are, they, are they politely waiting for them to wake up? What? You're unconscious and overexerted. What the hell? Okay, what exactly are you doing? Death is all around us. This is truly horrifying. Um, yeah, you've got an iron shield, and it can't penetrate the uh, cave spider silk hood, apparently. Doesn't explain why the other ones are hanging around outside the door. What is your problem? Uh, do we get a description of their physique? Their head is extremely narrow. Skin is lime. No, not really. Oh, there we go. Yeah, gonna get the, uh, oh, yeah, Ro Laren is still alive. Uh, not for much longer, I'm pretty sure. What's going to happen to you? Oh, look at all the ducks going crazy. Oh, man. Yeah. Your strength has been broken. I think the point of, uh, that exercise is I had no strength. Right, I'm gonna have to try and reclaim this place now, because that was obviously a bit sudden. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I put together a reclaim party. Um, yes, we have appeared in the same place we appeared last time. We can see a lot of dead animals around us, and some uh, cobwebs. Uh, and logs. <laughs> Plenty of logs. Let's have a look. There are no other creatures nearby. Um, yeah, so it's telling me all the people who died here, that's cool. But, as far as I can tell, there's, uh, there's no goblins. They, they've, they have left, they have departed the building. Um, so that's cool, I suppose. Uh, it kind of makes all the stuff that I bought with me redundant. Yeah, I brought a bunch of copper gear. Um, I chose copper warhammers because they were very cheap. And copper is pretty decent material to make warhammers out of. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And uh, yeah, I brought seven hammer dwarves with me, but I don't think I need them. They're actually just going to spend many, many years hauling shit. That's what's going to happen here. Uh, I didn't name those dwarves, because um, I figured that, uh, you know, they might just die, so... <laughs> uh, how, are the, how, how are their logs down there? Explain that to me. But yeah, I've got to claim everything on the map, um, so I'm not sure if that's everything. 
Yeah, we got a couple of levels to go down here. There are logs at the bottom of the stairway and in my crypt. <sighs> God damn it. I've never actually reclaimed a place, now that I think about it. But yeah, it seems to be quite fucking frustrating. Um, yeah, there's clothes and shit everywhere as well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put these guys in a squad. Uh, I'll just make it a metal armor uniform. And go ahead and put these guys, proficient hammer dwarves, all of them. We'll make the expedition leader, the militia commander, uh, for the time being. And I'll let them equip their shit. I think they will go and equip it. Let's have a look. Did you equip it? Uh, you got a copper breastplate on. Copper greaves, copper buckler, and warhammer. Um, you didn't put the boots on. Did I bring boots? No, I don't think I did, did I? But quite a few of them have not put their helmets on. So we're going to have to sort that out. Alright, replace clothing just for a minute. Um, I'll change it back again once they've dumped all their clothes and got their uniforms on. Where are they all buggering off to? Yeah, get back here. Put your damn uniforms on. Right, is that everything out of there? Yes, it is. Okay. Right. You may put your clothes back on now. Oh, dear. Like some strange voyeur. Right, uh... First things first. Right, all of the stockpile designations are gone, aren't they? Yes. Uh, so we want a refuse stockpile. Uh, a pretty fucking big one over there. And a corpse stockpile as well. Because pets and stuff died. Did they kill all of my ducks? I think they did, didn't they? Oh. I did forbid some eggs in here, though. Uh, let's just forbid them again. Um... Yeah, I don't know if they'll hatch without a duck set on them, though. That's that's kind of doubtful in my mind. Uh, let's have a nice big food stockpile here as well. Um, and I'll have a cloth. Oh, finished goods stockpile. Where is that? Finished goods. Because there's just shit everywhere now. This is what they're going to have to do for a while. And they're all kitted out for the military, so... You know, if the goblins come back, we at least have a fighting chance while they're hauling all this crap. But, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a while. Oh my word, is it going to be a while. <sighs> yeah, in fact, I think I'm just... <laughs> it's just a bridge. Yeah, it's taken away all my building designations as well. So, um, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a snake, I think. But yeah, it's just a bridge. Stuck in the middle of nowhere there with no walls designated next to it. So yeah, I think I'm actually going to pause the recording while they just run around and haul stuff. Alright, we got some ghosts. Let's have a look. We have Mott, who is a ghost. Let's have a look at him. What kind of ghost are you? A restless haunt, generally troubling past acquaintances or relatives. It's not been promoted. Not been properly memorialized or buried. I know, I know. Ooh, that's some miasma. I wonder what's causing that. Probably rotten food, I would imagine. Ugh, spider webs everywhere. Gross. Um, I, we do have barrels. I've just watched them put a load of food on the stockpile with uh, no barrels. I'm sure they'll get around to grabbing those barrels eventually. Where's my uh, tomb? I want to make sure that these... Ah, I see the problem. Right. Yeah, they've undesignated these. Oh, yeah, they're not allowed to be used for pets. That's good. I was gonna say, that would be irritating. Right. Yeah, so only uh, Beverly, I guess, has been... Unless it's thrown a corpse? No, no, the corpse stays in there. That's good. Yeah, abandoning a site really does kind of make a mess. It's... Uh, you know, I mean, the only logical reason for it is that the goblins just kind of went around throwing stuff everywhere. Which makes you kind of wonder why they would do that exactly. Okay, we have another ghost. This is Eric. Let's have a look. Where are they? Uh, are you okay there? Yeah, you're okay. Is it you? Where the hell's the ghost? I don't see it. Uh, it was there, I guess, but... Um 
Where would it be? Yeah, everybody's kind of thirsty. I just, uh, let's have a look. Oh, we got another ghost there as well. Alright, let's have a look at you. A forlorn haunt, seeking out, known, seeking out known locations or drifting around the place of death. Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to make sure none of them are horrible, vengeful spirits that try and kill everybody. Uh, troubling past acquaintances, that's fine. I don't know what it's doing up there, but <laughs> it's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure that ghosts can't fly. Um, but yeah, it does look like we got some thirsty dwarves here. I figured, like I didn't bring any food or drink because I just thought there'd be food and drink here. But I'm beginning to wonder now. We got a plant barrel. Um, yeah, someone's gonna have to really just go ahead and whoops, not extract from plants. Brew drink from plants. I wanted them all to just go ahead and haul until they can't haul anymore, but if they're thirsty, they're thirsty. I'm not the expedition leader. I have set someone as a bookkeeper there, as you can see. Uh I haven't named anybody yet, but I'm sure I'll get around to it eventually. Uh you sir or madam. Uh, where the hell is brewing? There we go. Brewing. Go brew at the distillery. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess... Right, you're grabbing a barrel? Uh, was that the brewer? I don't know. Uh, you're grabbing a barrel. Anybody? Yeah, they're all just storing items in stockpiles. And that guy's going to be probably updating the books for quite some time. Right, where the hell are you? It was you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn off your hauling, like, all of it. Because... Otherwise... Well, there's a lot of hauling tasks now. But yeah, we need the drinks. We need them brewed. Immediately. Uh, what are you doing now? Store item in stockpile. No. <laughs> Let's just follow them, see where they go. Alright, you've stored a pair of pants. Now... Please brew drinks. Ah, here we go. All right, they've grabbed a plant. Now they're off to the furthest reaches of the fort to grab a bloody barrel. There we go. And we should have some drinks pretty soon. But I think uh, it may be too late. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what are you doing? What are you? Oh, you're drinking uh, stagnant water. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. Yeah. Uh oh, right, this is gonna have to be a community activity right now, I think. Where the hell is everyone? Like, seriously. Um. Alright, oh, they're all drinking from these stagnant pools. Well, okay, I mean, so long as they don't die of thirst, they might get a little bit ill from it, I don't know. I don't, you can get infections in cuts if they clean it with dirty water, but. I don't know if they really get ill from drinking dirty water. What on earth? Oh, we got ducklings! Oh! <laughs> the duck's hatched! Oh, we got some female ones as well. Oh, nice! Okay, well, um, <laughs> that was unexpected. Just have shitloads of ducklings now. How many did we get? Oh, we got loads of them. Look at that. We're on our way to recovery already. Yeah, I think I'll. I think I can probably rat, rat up this episode here, yeah. Uh, got too excited about the ducks, I'm all stammering over everything. Oh, what's that one there, though? That's a slug and a snail. So yeah, I think I can wrap it up here. So, there's some signs of hope for this fortress, but... It's gonna be some goddamn hard work getting it back to anything remotely productive here. Now, some of the goblins left some of their weapons behind, though. Yeah, just saying. Silver lining. 